Everybody. Hello and welcome back. Welcome. Welcome back to the Did You Eat Yet podcast episode. Yeah. I want to say we're on 13 oh, or 14. No um, we did skip last week. Sorry about that. We were both feeling very, very under the weather. Yeah, it was not fun. <laughs> yeah, it was just it was just a week of us just not feeling okay. Yeah. This week isn't much better, but no. good enough for us to... We did um, upload a um, gaming... Mm -hmm. clips yep. video if you missed that check it out yeah i'll link it down in the description so you guys have access to see that directly yeah. it'll also be at the end card of this uh video as well it's fun it's yeah it's like a funny thing to watch i think yeah it's all of our <laughs> clips for all those of you who may not know may not stick around till the end of our podcast we do stream on twitch yeah um so that's just a little clip collection of videos we've gathered while we've been streaming together mostly me failing at things yeah i mean but. It's, it's, a, it's a nice little <laughs> collection of stuff and it's a good idea of like what our streams look like when we're streaming together yeah you know most of our streams are pretty chill but sometimes they're like that yeah <laughs> so follow that link um you can see that in our description as well uh down below is linked our twitch channels themselves mm -hmm. so if you guys haven't done so already make a twitch account follow us there um the more you follow us, the more content we're likely to put out. So, yeah, we want to we want to keep making content, but we want to make sure you guys are getting the content you want to see. So if you follow us and everything and let us know what you want to see, it'll make it a lot easier for us to, you know, target our content to what you guys actually enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. And we are probably making a transition here in the next couple weeks. Yeah, we'll have some more information on exactly what changes are going to be made. Yeah. Um, to the channel yeah uh we're still we're not discontinuing anything we're not no. like, stopping the podcast uh, but we are looking at options for which content is going to be take up more of our time and um how much content we're actually going to be putting out we're yeah. both in the process of like schedule changes now yeah so it is a little different for us to produce content we're not just stuck at home anymore so yeah um it's a little more challenging so there might be some changes coming up we're definitely going to finish out this month with the yes the schedule that we we'll have, have and the we'll plans have at least one more episode of uh october themed yeah. content and then uh, we'll we'll put out in november what our final plans are for the rest of the year at least yeah as an update mm -hmm. um before we get started with our uh topic for this week bef um make sure you like and subscribe but also what did you eat this morning austin I had an everything bagel with cream cheese. Oh, delicious. What did you eat this morning? I had the same thing. Yes, we did. We <laughs> went to Dunkin' Donuts. Not sponsored, unless you want to. Dunkin', hit us up. I would love that. Um, yeah, we actually asked for veggie cream cheese, but they... <laughs> they did not give us that. It's fine. It's not the only thing they messed up. No. But it's Dunkin'. If you've never, if you've ever been to a Dunkin', if you've never had an order messed up by Dunkin', you haven't been to Dunkin' enough times. That's exactly right. It, you're, it's like flipping a coin. You have a 50% chance of getting your order right. Yeah. I saw a meme the other, the other day, and it was like, I love Dunkin' because you can go every, to the same Dunkin' every day, and you'll still never know, or every day with the same order, and you'll yes. still never know if your drink's going to be good or not. Exactly. But it's fine. That's what it's we love. It's the beauty of Duncan. It is. Well, and it kind of ties into the, the theme of today. I woke up this morning. I went outside. The leaves were falling. It was kind of like a chilly morning. And I was like, this reminds me of a morning that I would work mm -hmm. at the park that I worked at yes. during October. Mm -hmm. And almost every morning, not good for me, but I would get Dunkin' Donuts. Because yeah, it's on the way. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, the park we worked at um, did have a Halloween event every year. Yes. Uh, a two-parter. So there was a morning, like, kid-friendly, family-friendly version yeah. of it. And then right around 6 p.m., they turn off the lights and they started their Haunted Houses stuff. Um, the place we worked at had, like, I want to say six or seven kid-friendly attractions. Yeah. Specifically for Halloween. And then, like, 12 to 15, depending on the year, haunted attractions. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't small. It was pretty big. Yeah, it was. Very um, popular, too. And for those of you who remember from our water park stories, I worked at this park for 10 years of my life, and you were there for a solid five or six. So yeah. we have 
plenty of stories to tell. Yeah. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to yes. talk about our time working at mm-hmm. um, this haunted yeah. attraction yeah. in the park and also the daytime. Yeah. So think about thing. our bizarre water park stories, but make it like bizarre Halloween attraction stories <laughs> <Yes>. instead. <laughs> um, because hint, hint, people are still weird in October. Even if weirder. They're, if they're weird in July. Even weirder. Yeah. More aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the general... Our general plan is going to be to kind of stick chronologically year by year. It may not work. We'll figure it out as we go. We'll see. Um, But that means there's going to be a solid like three or four years of just me talking about my experience. Yeah. Because I worked there before you did. Yeah. So. um, Yeah. Why don't you get started and talk about your first couple years? Yeah. So I started working when I was 15. Um, It was pretty much the earliest I could work. I could have worked a year before, but Mm -hmm. I didn't want to. (laughs) Fun fact. For anybody who didn't know, I actually applied to this job the year before and just never went. <laughs> uh, so I could have started working in uh, 2008, but instead it was 2009. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was 15 and I worked all summer and I had a good time. You know, I was, I, I liked my job. I was surprised with how much I liked it. And there was a, uh, an opportunity to transfer to other departments or our Halloween event. Right. Most of us wound up transferring to Halloween event because it's really limited what you can do as a 15 year old. Mm -hmm. Um, Like you wound up not really doing anything fun. Right. And we're one of the few departments where you can transfer because. Because our department. We end. It disappears. In September. August. Yeah. So um, we transferred to our kid friendly um, Halloween event. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I started. It was a different world entirely. I mean, there's there was no organization really to specifically us. I mean, Haunt itself was very. It was still a well-oiled machine from when yeah, or the earliest I can remember it. It was very themed. Mm-hmm. Like I remember when they changed it from its original name to Haunt, that it was. That's when like things started being like, oh, this is a different. This is scary. Yeah, this isn't like they've always done a really good job. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember going as a kid though, and the old like uh, all weekends. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, but I remember that when too. When they changed over, that's when they added a lot of the spookier stuff. Yes. Which we'll get into because a lot of that stuff stuck around for a lot of years. Yeah. Um. But the morning stuff. No, there was really no yeah. no structure to it. There was not a lot of leadership. Um, that was changed the year after. I mm-hmm. think that really came down to one individual person, the person who was in charge of it. Mm-hmm. And I mean, she wasn't there the year after. So uh, that being said, the person in charge of the morning stuff was whoever the manager of the water park was. Yeah. So our manager at the time, my manager, she came over. Um, she was notorious for playing favorites mm-hmm. and lucky enough you were a i was one of the favorites <laughs> most of us that wound up transferring to this um this event were her favorites mm-hmm. so we got away with literally whatever we wanted yeah. i remember um so I'll describe what the job was actually mm-hmm. before i get into story time so we wore big 1980s costumes that haven't been maintained and were falling apart. They were terrifying. They were terrifying. For like a daytime here's, children here's activity. Here's the thing. My costume <laughs> was this big devil costume. <laughs> I, even in 2009, I was like six foot. Mm-hmm. The head of this devil was about a foot and a half taller than me. <laughs> it's so scary. And they wanted me to like interact with children. <laughs> and I was like, are you sure about that? Seriously. <laughs> Um, they were, and it was a bad idea. Yeah. Um, but most of our costumes were like that. They were all, I'll tell you what, I'll try to find pictures of the costumes and add them in yeah, this video because me describing them is not going to do justice. No. Um, so right around here, I'll put the, I'll put pictures of like what I can find of that year. And oh my God, it was like, it was dreadful and scary and mm-hmm. awful. That being said, we made the best of it. Yeah. We wound up getting a lot of kids that did like us cause we were fun and silly. I mean, you knew you know who was all like with me at the time um and we were all like fun people so we made the best of it we had like dance contests costume contests Mm -hmm. where we'd like bring kids up on stage and dance with them do like the monster mash and the time warp and stuff um and uh, eventually got to a point where we were comfortable in the positions and our supervisors were less than attentive Mm -hmm. i'll say 
Um, because we, we knew what we were doing. We had set times for all the shows. We had set times for this, where we would go places. But um, they kind of gave us free reign over where we wanted to be. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember some of the stories being like, the one kid, I think he wore the cowboy costume. He would just keep his iPod headphones in mm-hmm. during the dance contests. And while we were all doing the time warp, he was playing like electronic music and just like like <laughs> raving on the stage. And you could tell. That's it was funny. pretty easy to tell that he wasn't dancing to what we were dancing to, but it was fine. Uh, we would do like parades around the park, get on the carousel with people and just like, you know, ride around with the kids. But there mm-hmm. was just so little structure to it. And it's what made it magical mm-hmm. as a 15 year old yeah. with your first job. It was It was a lot of fun and a lot of like, it it's so hard to like explain exactly what that season was because yeah. it wasn't the benefit of that too is that we could stay at the end of the night mm-hmm. so we clocked out we were done so we would do haunt so i did haunt like every night mm-hmm. we go through the attractions and stuff and we had friends from the water park who were old enough who worked there mm-hmm. you like stop by and see him and stuff and, yeah you know but it was just so there was so little like actual structure to the job mm-hmm. it's just what made it like special and mm-hmm. magical because like when you came in during the changes of everything yeah later it was a so much different world yeah it was still fun still yeah. like a lot more lax than like the water park but it was i mean we basically didn't have leadership yeah and we were these giant scary costumes we would like go into the pumpkin patch and steal pumpkins and like, <laughs> run around with them and <laughs> it was sounds like fun i can't even explain like everything we did it was just such a weird mm-hmm. weird year yeah but it was fun yeah i mean that was my first year um but i didn't really i'm not like good with like child interaction Mm -hmm. like interacting with kids i don't really i still don't get it (laughs) so the next year i was like special next year i was like i had a lot of fun but like haunt sounds fun yeah so i decided to go for it i went for haunt we had to do there was um for anybody who hasn't who's listening who hasn't worked at this haunted event or a haunted event before we actually had like a tryout mm-hmm. where we would go in and you would talk to the haunt leadership and they, you would tell them like where you wanted to work, wh- which house like kind of like fits Fit the most you. to you. Yeah. And most of the people that I enjoyed working with were working at the Backwoods attraction. Mm-hmm. It was just, it was the fun one. I mean, that's what I remember going through it. It was just a trail in the woods behind the park and it was like scary cannibal hillbillies and campers and it was fun. It was mm-hmm. cool. So I wanted to do that obviously so i tried out and they gave me um my position was i think that first year was bad camper Mm -hmm. so i was one of the the story of the attraction goes it's a campsite but the camp was made like this campsite was made on like hillbilly like there was land Mm -hmm. they didn't like it so they murdered all the campers and ate them Mm, solid that's the general story of this attraction lovely so as a bad camper, I was one of the campers who was attacked. Mm. You know, were we zombies? Who knows? Were we like mm-hmm. survivors? I don't know either. Mm-hmm. So um, my position was right up at the front. And in this attraction, you had a bus that you would walk through. Mm-hmm. And then you would like tell a story on the bus. So it would like the stories like you're going to the campsite. And when you get off the bus, like that's when all hell breaks loose. Uh, that year wasn't like really crazy. Mm. I mean, I had a lot of fun with it, but it was really just like, me and like my friends are by the campfire and like on the bus and we would like scare people on the bus and stuff but mm-hmm. it was fun and i was like this is this is fun i'll do it again so the next year in 2011 mm-hmm. i went back but this time i was a hillbilly sweet <laughs> uh the hillbillies for those of you who don't know are the bad guys in the thing so you're the one actually doing the scares the mm-hmm. whole attraction is like a build-up to like the end where you're getting chased by hillbillies with chainsaws and axes and stuff and it's so much fun it's a lot of fun so um back when you could have real chainsaws yeah so i had a chainsaw (laughs) like Um, a a real chainsaw and this is kind of when like the stories for me start because Mm -hmm. like this is what i remember from this point on is what i remember the most Mm -hmm. about haunt is when i started to like really have fun with it this year 2011 was probably my second favorite year of haunt Mm -hmm. overall and like we'll get into my first favorite year of haunt Mm -hmm. that's not until 2014 I don't remember. I think it's 2014. Um, oh, so yeah, yeah, I was a hillbilly with the I was both a hillbilly with a chainsaw, and we had this bungee like jumper station mm-hmm. where you'd be on bungee cords like jumping out at people, which was also a lot of fun. Yeah. 
Um, and you didn't see it coming. You didn't see it. It was, it was perfectly hidden behind the trees. Yeah. Like the other fungies in the park, like they're kind of like, oh, there it is. Like I think Corn Stalkers has a good one now. Yeah. But they haven't changed it in like four years. So you know, you know where it is. Before you know where it is. Yeah. It's right after the barn. For those of you who don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just remember I had like the best supervisors there both years. Mm-hmm. But this year it was like, I mean, we were basically given free reign over the whole back half of the attraction. Mm-hmm. It was like, we know you're good at what you're doing. Like, just here's a chainsaw. Just do it. Here's a bungee. Just have fun. Rotate yourselves. Do what you need to do. Uh, the rest of the attraction was eh that year. I mean, like, you didn't get it. Was everybody knew the attraction was on its way out? Yeah. And like, old attractions don't get the attention that new ones do yeah. at the park we worked at. So it was like, let's just fill it with people. But me and my friends who were in the back decided we want to have fun with it the whole time. Mm-hmm. Um, let me think about stories because there's a lot of them. Yeah. I remember walking through yeah, that year. Yeah. You came to visit a bunch of times. That's when we first met. In yeah. That year. And uh, I remember like thinking, this really isn't scary until the very end mm-hmm. because it's most, it was mostly just everyone like saying, like, watch out yeah (laughs) yeah for like the first and it Mm -hmm. was like a decently long trail yeah it was pretty long and it used to be longer they actually split it up and cut it down yeah that year and then you uh got to the end and people fucking chased you i remember the first year back which was in when i was still uh working i think it might have been the the first and second year was there they actually had a section where they would split up the groups Mm -hmm. and like they'd split them into two so you'd be two smaller groups and they would usually like leave one group alone yeah i know they would always try to like split up boys and girls and they do stuff um yeah i mean i think the end really i think the very beginning um was good after the bus at the end of that first stretch yeah um and then us in the back were fun too and i think when i tell stories about future haunts too i think like what it comes down to is when your actors have fun Mm -hmm. the traction is going to be better we made it a point that even if people weren't scared of us yeah we would still have fun Mm -hmm. and like make fun of them and like chase their friends and stuff and yeah, that's you guys what, made fun of people, which that's was what, really funny. That's what people remember. I remember there's a couple times. One time, um, I'll tell someone like the, the spooks, because some of the spooks were good. Mm-hmm. Um, there was this, uh, this woman who was walking through, and she was pretty scared the whole way around. Mm-hmm. Um, we could hear her. So the benefit of this direction is you could hear from the front to the back, because mm-hmm. the way it wrapped. You heard them when you got right off the bus, and then... Um, they would obviously loop around and they would mm-hmm. hit a couple more areas so you would hear them coming so you had time to prepare. Sophie. Oh, Doggo. There you go, Sophie. So you'd have time to prepare. So we would um you know get ready for the ones that like the big the big fish that we would be able to like we're gonna get a good speed mm-hmm. of this. Um there was a section right before our area which had a bet. And in the front of the bend, we put this scariest rabbit costume we could find. It was terrifying <laughs> and just gross and smelly and dirty. And mm-hmm. it was like, he would just stand there. <laughs> and it's like, solid. This woman is like freaking out at this rabbit, like doesn't want to pass him, doesn't want to pass him. So he, I'm pretty sure he chases her down towards us. Mm-hmm. And we had uh, our one friend, he was on the bungee at the time. Mm-hmm. And I was standing in the spot where we would stand to like kind of distract and let them know like right. who to scare. This woman was like a group behind at the bend, mm-hmm. and my friend jumped down at the group in front of her. Well, she got so freaked out that she had a cup of hot chocolate oh, and God. she whipped it at him from like 20 feet away, <laughs> nailed him in the head, oh, hot God. chocolate all over him. Jeez, she apologized. She was like, I'm sorry, I didn't know. But I was like, How did you get scared from that far away? <laughs> But it was just that's really funny and that's like that's the epitome of most of our stories one time i got the chainsaw stuck in my costume mm-hmm. so i was walking around the attraction and like people are scared of the chainsaw they like know the chainsaw's coming so yeah. i'm walking towards them you hear it and then like i would let go of it I'm like look no hands <laughs> like, oh, funny and then somebody else with another chainsaw would be behind me oh um until i got it fixed but what else that year there were so many stories that year mm-hmm. like that was a really good really good year you have a story that year as I a guest. Yeah, you came to visit oh, me. Oh, yeah. I went with my friend, mm-hmm. and the way it's set up, the, it was set up, there was one attraction that basically led into the one you worked at. Yeah. So you went through this one, mm-hmm. and then at the very end, you could either leave or you could go to Backwoods. Mm-hmm. And my friend is, she was the kind of person that 
like would scream yeah. really loudly mm-hmm. at everything. She has a very high pitched scream. And this couple in front of us, mm-hmm. the girl specifically, was like really pissed off about that. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, you probably shouldn't come to a place of, like a haunted house if, you, yeah. if you're mad at people screaming right and like her her scream is annoying don't yeah. get me wrong but, but most like, screams are annoying right yeah but that's just that's just how she is mm-hmm. and uh <laughs> this girl like she got so mad and she started like making fun of her mm-hmm. making fun of my friend yeah and i was like could could you knock it off like she's scared and then she started like making fun of me and then started like threatening us. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, we're just trying to get through the attraction. I just want to go to the other one. Like, can yep. you just leave us alone? And she wouldn't stop. And mm-hmm. she like was ready to fight us. And I was yep. like, I'm 16. Like, yep. leave me alone. Mm-hmm. And her boyfriend was like, fucking stop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like he was mad at her. I was like, yeah, can you like do something and about this? The, the, the line for backwards was like, it was... The way we set it up is we use like picnic tables and yeah. kind of set it up where you were just like smushed in line. Yeah. So you couldn't like put people between you. No. Like you were just smushed with people because the line got so long. We had the longest lines. Yeah. I was year. like, she's probably, I was 16 at the time, I think. Probably like in her 20s. And she was probably in her 20s making fun of a 16 year old. Yeah. And I was like, you, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. <laughs> like you're threatening to fight me. I don't want to fight you. Mm. I don't want to fight anyone ever. Yeah. Just leave me alone yeah, and stop making fun of my friend. Just go. Even her boyfriend was mad. I was like, people, when they come to haunted attractions, they like, mm-hmm. they get like, I, f- I feel like a lot of people get like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I don't know. Like ballsy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, we talked about this with our bizarre water park stories. I think yeah. coming to an amusement park, you have this like childlike Kid. mentality. Yeah. That comes out because you're like, I'm going to have a good time and have fun. But why is fighting so you, someone a good time? Because I think you, <laughs> my theory is you revert yeah. back to like the last time you remember having fun at an amusement park. Right. And for most people, that's like their teenage years. Yeah. I really thought this girl was going to hit me yeah. because she was targeting me because mm-hmm. I was sticking up for my friend. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm not, I don't want to fight anybody. See, now we're at a point where <laughs> like looking back, you probably should have just let her because that would have just <laughs> yeah. ended her trip. <laughs> I should have just let her hit me. You should have. But yeah, that year really solidified my enjoyment for the first year was fun. Like 2010 was fun. I yeah. had a good time. But like the second year, I was like, this is like, this is what I like. I like scaring people. Yeah. Um, and we just dominated the back of that attraction forever. Mm-hmm. We had uh, this tent that we would like burst out of to scare people. Yeah, um, you guys had a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a lot of skits prepared. Mm-hmm. We developed like characters and crappy southern accents. And it was mm-hmm. like, it was just fun. Like, um, you just wanted to like have a good time so yeah at that point i was like well i know what i'm doing and like i wanted to at that point go into like amusement leadership specifically in the water park Mm -hmm. so the next year 2012 i applied for a leadership position Mm -hmm. um which i got at uh a newer attraction at the time not the newest but i think it was like two years old when i got it um and you also joined that something that season as well i did that's when you worked there the one year you worked at haunt well i I saw how much fun you were having, mm-hmm. and me and my friend at the time, we were like, we could do that. And we could have fun together. Yeah. So we went and we auditioned together, yep. and we wanted to be placed in the same house, mm-hmm. but that didn't happen. Yeah. And, um... The worst part of that is knowing that, like, if you would have asked, like, if you would have pressured a little bit more, you probably could have gotten I probably could have. Now that you know all those people. Yeah. They did not put us in the same place. Yeah. Which isn't uncommon. No, no, no. Especially for friends who are outside of the family that come in and like yeah that work there every year yeah yeah um and they they literally put us on opposite ends of the park yeah like she was down at the bottom and Mm -hmm. i was up at the top at the water park we're in the water park yeah where the attraction was Mm -hmm. and i did not have fun yeah you had a bad year yeah it was just i it it wasn't it was a poorly it was a poorly executed attraction to begin with it was like it was just the setup of it it wasn't a bad idea no it was a cool attraction yeah but the way they built it the way the maze was kind of like put together yeah was already like off-putting yeah and we were also it was so secluded from everything yeah that, we were like, so far from everything i was i was a minor at the time mm-hmm. i was 17 yeah um i didn't know anybody in my attraction yeah um and i was just i was far away from everyone mm-hmm. and everything 
And your whole attraction was like, it's not even like you shared a break area with no. another attraction. Cause no. like some of the houses are close enough that you could share like break areas and like tell stories and have fun. Yeah. We were literally secluded from everyone. Yeah. And I just, I think if I were to do it now, I would have fun. Yeah. But as a 17 year old, like insecure little girl, mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know anybody. Yeah. You're not, you've done no one to bounce off of. You have nobody to, like, yeah. you can't just like get into a situation where you're having fun no. scaring people especially no. if you're like already like that and then you have a difficult time scaring people by yourself you yeah. just get more and more and like, i was a- alone most yeah. of the time mm-hmm. um in a room mm-hmm. which and uh, there, you got a pretty big room too i did have it was a the big, freezer room yeah, yeah i was in the freezer room you had a friend but whatever happened to her i don't know because she I remember she was the same She's she was in your room she you. was but then some nights she yeah. she would get different makeup and she would be in a different room silly yeah. yeah and uh i don't know i just i had a lot of um incidents as well yeah where i was like targeted mm-hmm. um by older creepy men mm-hmm. um there were a couple times where i was literally alone in my room and for those who don't know you're given a whistle mm-hmm. um as an actor for any uh any incidents any yeah. any reason you may need help whether someone, it be like medical emergency yep. or like threatening or someone hurts you something you know. like that and i blew my whistle three times in that attraction mm-hmm. there are some people who blow their whistle for everything mm-hmm. i'm not that kind of person they get like like don't scare me and then they like, blow their whistle and be like they harassed <laughs> me yeah it's like come on but as like a 17 year old girl being mm-hmm. stuck in a room alone yeah um i did not enjoy that yeah and i there were a couple times where like there were like men who would like block me in my room. And the unfortunate part about that too, is like, it was a circumstance where there was no good solution because there were supposed to be like three people in that room with you. Yeah. But when you don't have the actors, it was just like a staffing problem that year that it started off pretty strong, but then it kind of, and that's kind of every year that we worked there. It kind of like started off where your houses were loaded. And then the one benefit I had is I had a huge, man yeah that was an actor who went by doom yes like that like that's what he wanted people to call him doom doom so in the room next to me he called me his kitty cat yeah and i knew he would protect me with his life Mm -hmm. so if i ever needed something he would immediately run over and when i tell you this guy is big i mean i'm a big guy and i look up to this man yes (laughs) like like, he's huge that's not that's not figurative like i would literally have to look up to see him yeah like austin's almost like almost six three i probably wouldn't go that far you're like you're like i think you're almost six six one whatever if that (laughs) no i think you're six two at least we'll find out either way i'll I'll let you go i'll keep we'll keep you posted on my height (laughs) yeah we'll measure um but this man is very large yeah so not only was he like tall but he was like 200 pounds of like 250 pounds of man Uh, at least yeah yeah but and i appreciated that because he he really looked out for me yeah um, but yeah, it was just, I had a couple rough things. I got hit once or twice. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I got punched in the face once Yeah, and I got, we had these huge, um, like pigs. Yeah. Like hanging. Cause it was a freezer room. Yeah. The and fake, they, fake. they were like fake rubberized, pigs. but yeah, but they, they were heavy Yeah, and someone literally shoved the pig into me. Mm-hmm. And at the time I think I, I weighed maybe like 125 pounds. Yeah. Like I was very yeah, you were small. I was very small and it literally knocked me over mm-hmm. and i was like what the? he might not have seen you because it was dark in no there, he but, did this okay. person did and i know a couple people like a couple people get, do that on accident or they're just like dicking around and they're like yeah. trying to throw things either way it's not cool don't touch the props if you go to a haunted house don't touch the fucking props like right. just don't touch them there's most also, of them are more expensive than you think they are um i do have a sp- spooky story oh spooky from this attraction yes for those of you who don't know i don't know if we've talked about this at all but there is we an, may have mentioned it there is an ongoing theory that the water park is haunted yes by a boy who drowned there yes. many years ago not we weren't involved no it was before we were born also the way that it happened nobody yeah. knows for sure yeah, there's there's conflicting stories right but his name is danny yes um and there was one evening it was a very still evening no wind very calm and i'm in the room alone it's a it's not a busy night mm-hmm. there's like nobody coming through which is another downside mm-hmm. to working these attractions you, that and you guys were in an area where it was hard to find anyway yes like you tr- you pass by all the cool attractions making your way up to yours yeah so why would people even bother exactly 
we hardly ever had like really busy nights. Mm. And that was pre, no, that was Fright Lane that year. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm in my room alone and, um, there's this, um, like mannequin, uh, Mm -hmm. girl. She's also very heavy Mm -hmm. and she hangs from a chain. In order for that thing to move, you have to like physically push it. Yeah, you gotta like, push it. Even if there was wind, mm-hmm. it would not move it because it is very heavy. Mm-hmm. Well, that thing moved. Mm-hmm. I was alone. Mm-hmm. So um, I decided to start talking to Danny. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hey, Danny, you in here with me? Like, what mm-hmm. you doing? Because he's, he's not like. Yeah, most of us that work there kind of have an idea that like he's not. I mean, if. He's if a kid. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a kid. For most, like most of the stuff that we see is like phones going off, doors opening and closing. Yeah. Splashing in the pools and stuff. It's like nothing malicious ever. No. But he moved something else in that room too mm-hmm. that night. Yeah. So um, I'm pretty sure Danny was with me that night. Probably. Yeah. Know, so what's going on up here? Yeah. This is different. <laughs> yeah. That year wasn't as fun for me. I mean, I really, I had a really good year. Yeah. The difference is I only got to scare one night that year. Because you were supervising. Yeah. Because I was trying, basically that was my trial period, as yeah. I was told, for supervisor in the water park. Yeah. Uh, it was a really good year overall. My actors were all pretty solid. Except yeah. You had one, a good house. Except one that I had some problems with, but that'll be part of the story. Because mm-hmm. oh, that's a story in itself. Um. I had a good house. I had a good leadership team. All three of us were pretty new into leadership. Um. But I think we worked really well together. Yeah. Um. So I worked at, it's your classic, like, haunted house. Yeah. Uh, it was, like... A, Ghosts. This, yeah, it was designed as, like, a mansion where, like, all the, like, party guests and, like... Like, think about, like, Haunted Mansion from Disney. Yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah. It was basically, that was the idea. Yeah, the theme. Um. So, I mean, I obviously didn't know what I was doing at first, because yeah. it was my first time leading anything. At the time, I was an 18-year-old kid. It's my first supervisor position. Like, this is... Let's try it out. Yeah. Um, I got the hang of all like the number stuff pretty early from like break types and stuff like that. So most of the season I got to just have fun. Um, we had a quartet as like a street talent team mm-hmm. there who actually like had instruments and they would play. Um, I wasn't their supervisor, mm-hmm. so it was very difficult for me to keep them in check, mm-hmm. which was fine because they're the people who get my attraction the most interesting. Yeah. But they would like go out and play their instruments for like the crowd and stuff and the one kid, he would always, we would find him like napping in the back and I was like, <laughs> whatever, I really don't care. Yeah. Um, but at the time, this was the biggest house in the park. Yeah, like, it, it was, was it really was huge. gigantic. Yeah. It was basically the size of two haunted, the size of two haunted houses, like general normal size. Yes. Attached to each other. It was massive. Uh, so it was really long. It was really maze-like, difficult to get through. If you don't know what you're doing, thankfully mm-hmm. there's a lot of like, the, if you know the back hallways, they're all really connected mm-hmm. through one hallway. So it was pretty easier to get through. But um yeah i mean it was it was it was a solid year i mean we had a lot of really good scares i got a lot of compliments about my actors and stuff and they mm-hmm. all seemed to like have a good time i had the benefit of my other supervisor um all of his friends he got to work there mm-hmm. uh and they were part of the drama department at his high school yes so i had a pretty like you had was, a solid team it was good like yeah. they they worked well together already um uh, the one, the one actor I had real pro- well, there was two actors I had problems with. Mm-hmm. One because he was a conspiracy theorist, <laughs> but not like the like, solid evidence. It's not like <laughs> at one point. Okay, so there's two stories I want to tell about him. One, we were on break. He took a lot of breaks. He mm-hmm. would also like change his costume randomly. One time he brought on a bat, like a fake rubber bat, and he was like, "This is Reginald." And I'm like, Fine, "Whatever, I don't care. Have fun." <laughs> Um, so he was, his character was a bellhop. So he would stand in the front mm-hmm. and like check people in and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but he, at one point was just trying to convince my 16 year old actors mm-hmm. that the moon, it's not real. It's a space station for the aliens. It's, it's where they, it's, that's where they, it's where they are. Mm-hmm. But that's not the weird one. The oh. worst thing that ever happened to this guy was, it was the end of the night. We were going over notes from the day. Mm-hmm. I was like sending people home, giving them their costume cards and stuff. And he was like. One of us here is an alien. What the fuck? Like, can we not right now? And people just like looked at me. I was like, stop. You're was scaring like, these 16 year olds. It was like, I don't know. It's just, I mean, one of us here is definitely, I was like, it's probably fucking It's you. you. <laughs> Please leave. Uh, needless to say, he was never invited back to haunt again. And yes. uh, somehow he keeps finding his way into the park mm. and finding us every year. It's like, Please leave. You're the alien, dude. Yeah, like, he had, like, 
people he he was the kind of person who thought he had like fans mm. like no you don't fans like <laughs> speaking of people who thought they had fans the other problem child i had thought he was god's gift to haunted attractions oh my god i remember him and he was he was bad so he was upset because he didn't get a promotion so mm-hmm. the way haunt worked at the time is like you work in a house long enough and you're good enough you get promoted to street talent which means you get to roam the street Mm-hmm. as your character mm-hmm. interact freely mm-hmm. and it's like the ultimate like you're not contained to a house yeah like you you've proven that you can you reliable people stay in character yeah. like you don't like we don't have to worry about you we don't need to keep an eye on yeah you, you can kind of represent haunt as a whole right for the park um he did not get it mm-hmm. and he was upset mm-hmm. so they put him in my house and how unfortunate he refused to listen to anything i said mm. I would assign him rooms and he would roam. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, I'm a roamer. It's like, no, you're not. Because I told you, you're in this room. I'm your supervisor, so like, you're not. I was like, because he he was brought on initially when we had enough people as a roamer. Mm-hmm. It's like, you would help, like you would, like you're a character, a named character basically in this house mm-hmm. where you would roam around and like wherever you pop up, it was like, cool. Cause like mm-hmm. you're a character. And like, if you know the house well enough, you could pop up in multiple rooms right. for multiple groups. So they could see you like six or seven times in a night. Mm-hmm. It's creepy. Right. right. Uh, unfortunately for those of you who have ever worked with people, they get sick and they call out of work. Mm-hmm. So sometimes he needed to be places, mm-hmm. specific places. Mm-hmm. He didn't like that. Mm-hmm. So he would move and I'd catch him and be like, listen, you need to stay here. Just stay here. Well, it got to a point, probably mid-season, where I was like, I like, I can't have you not listen to me anymore. And like me being a new leader, I was so reluctant to write people up. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't want to do this. Like, I don't want... You don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want you to not like me. I don't want you to think I'm just like a power, di- power grab or something. Yeah. But I wrote him up. Good. And he was livid. <laughs> he was not having it. He was like, I can't have this be on my personal record. There's, no, I can't. I, I can't do this. I can't. Then like, listen to me. And I was like, listen, like... It's going in your file. Just sign the paper or don't. Like, I really, I'm not fighting with you. Yeah. And he refused to talk to me. He wanted to talk to, like, the second highest ranking position in our department. Oh so I called, and they were like, no. So they sent somebody else, <laughs> and he was like, well, who are you? I need to talk to blah, blah, blah. And I was like, he was like, you're going to talk to me, and you're either going to sign this, or you're, you're not. Right. Eventually, he signed it, but it was like, dude, yeah. just listen. It's just not listen. hard. It was rough. But other than that, my year was really good. We got compliments. Uh, my lines were always ridiculously long. Mm-hmm. People knew my attraction yeah. that year. It was a good I don't attraction. want to say we were probably the best that year, because I don't know what else was there. Mm, I don't remember. But most people think Cornstalker is the best anyway. Yeah. So who cares? But I think we were really good. Yeah, I was. Um, so that year, so the next year, which you don't have stories of, because you were like, no, nah, fuck this. Yeah, I did not want to do it again. <laughs> um, I don't really have any good stories of that year, either, because I was stuck at the pirate-themed attraction. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, there's a pirate-themed attraction, which has a really cool, like, ship. Like, it's super cool. Yeah, I mean, it is cool. It's a good prop. It's like prop. a full-sized, sh- like, pirate ship, basically. Yeah. Probably scaled down a little bit. Yeah. But, like, it's, like, on land, and it's broken up into pieces, and it is really cool. It's a yeah. really cool prop. Yeah. But that's the only cool thing about the attraction. And the cannon. And the cannon. Okay, there. <laughs> People aren't scared of pirates. No. I mean, they just aren't. And there's no way to make pirates scary, especially if you don't have, like, a maze for people to go through. Right. It was a walk-around attraction where you would walk around, where you would walk around and you would just, like, there's pirates roaming. Right. It's like, how do I make pirates scary? Yeah, they're not scary. And I was like, I'll do my best. But, like, my talent coaches were trying, but, like, it's, it's hard yeah, to it get is. them involved. And my team was, like, friendly with me. Mm-hmm. And once they're like friendly with you, you can't tell them what to do anymore. Yeah. And I was like, half my staff was They from, don't fear you. Half the staff was from my water park water park that summer and I was like, like I know you. You're yeah. not gonna You're not gonna listen. And so they challenged me one night to uh dress up. So I dressed up two times. One time in that previous year, mm-hmm. which I scared everybody and they were all very impressed. Yes. <laughs> they didn't think I could do it. The next year, I dressed up as a pirate, but I was like, I can't get any scared. So I just pretended to be drunk the whole night. Mm. I probably should have just gotten drunk and yeah. done it for real. That would have been fun. Don't drink underage, friends. <laughs> um, but I don't know. The only the coolest part about it was the prop and the cannon. So we mm-hmm. had this big air cannon um, that's used to like scare birds away from crops. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we got one, and we would set it off. Unfortunately, the town around us didn't like the cannon. Bunch of bitches. 
So they limited the amount of times we could use it, mm-hmm. and then they said we can't use it. And certain, and it just got to a point where we weren't even allowed to push the button anymore. And I was like, that's no fun. It's the coolest part. It's the only thing that scared people in the whole thing. Yeah. And I was just like, this kind of sucks. So I was kind of tainted from that point forward. I was like, I don't really want to lead teams anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember like the most fun I had both those years was scaring. Yeah. Then I remember 2011, and I was like, oh, that was fun. Yeah. I wanted so, to go back to scaring. So the next year I was scaring. And that summer, you actually came to Dorney and yes. worked. That was your first year as a lifeguard. It was. Yeah. So you... Um, I worked as a lifeguard and then I yep. uh, did the... the uh, I think it was called Boot Blast. I don't remember. My first the year. Time. Um, the daytime kid yeah. attraction. Yeah. So you worked there. Uh, you worked at the daytime. Uh, same way I did. But for you, completely different. It was a 180 from what I did. Yeah. Because there was structure and organization yeah. and job responsibilities. I also and worked at the pirate ship. Yes, but um, in the morning. In the morning, and all the kids were dressed up as pirates, and they would yeah. hand out like bandanas and eye patches. Yeah. And, and it was really cute. It was cute. It worked, and it worked really well. As like a, where I was located was right near um, like Snoopy's mm-hmm. uh, planet, whatever yeah. you call that. Mm-hmm. So they would come over and they would do like meet and greets and shows, yeah. and I made friends with the characters. Yeah, and didn't they have like costumes and stuff yeah that time of year yeah. yeah so it was cute it was a it was a cute thing it was good for yeah that i love seeing uh snoopy and woodstock yeah <laughs> and it was fun it was good for like the morning and yeah you don't really have a lot of stories i would come and visit you a lot but nothing really happened no a couple of those kids i got to come to the water park the next year yeah i was like come work for the water park yeah i'm recruiting you let's yeah, go the benefit <laughs> is like you could start at 14 for the morning stuff so yeah you get you got an opportunity to like pull them into where you wanted to yeah but that year for you for me it's the best year of haunt Mm -hmm. the best single best we got it we got rid of an old clown attraction and put in a new one Mm -hmm. themed a little differently and it wasn't a house it was a scare zone so a whole area of clowns just roaming around like you had to walk through it you had and if you wanted to get from yeah there was like if you didn't want to walk around half the park and you wanted to get to a specific ride if you wanted to get to a ride there was one ride that we were blocking yeah you had to walk through our clowns. Yes. So clowns are a phobia for most people. I hate them. Like a lot of people. I think it's the most common, like a scary phobia. Yes. Um, so needless to say, our job was easy to begin with. Sure. Um, but a lot of my friends from Backwoods came and joined us. Mm-hmm. Or our friends from the water park. Uh, so it was really easy for us to kind of like get back into that character mm-hmm. and like feeling. And we did. And um, I'll try to see if I can find any footage or anything of like what we did. So we were. Uh, I have some stuff, I'm sure. Yeah, we were sliders. So we had knee pads and gloves on, and we would actually slide around on the ground mm-hmm. towards and around guests. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of pictures too. So if you are scared of clowns and then one is coming at you <laughs> from below and then pops up, needless to say, you are probably going to be extra scared. Yep. So it worked out really well that year. Um, and me and the group of friends we had, we had this hill that we would slide down and we basically owned that hill. Mm -hmm. Um, but that hill was one of the only two ways to get through the attraction. Yes. So there really was no avoiding. It was also in the middle of like a food stand, (laughs) which is super unhelpful too. They didn't really think this through because like it was, I mean, they moved it the next year. So clearly they were like, this is a bad idea. Yeah. But it was a great idea. And we just, I mean, I can go on and on about the stories this year. I think like there's a couple good ones, but, um, the our supervisor that year mm-hmm. was a friend of ours mm-hmm. who was at the same level as us at the water park mm-hmm. and there was no there was no <laughs> leashing us it was it wasn't possible and i feel bad for him and i still apologize to this day about like he knew just how bad it was but at least with you guys specifically the yeah. other ones he could control but yeah, you guys he was like nah yeah. fuck it <laughs> and we i mean we were just we just had fun that whole year i mean we had like we we legitimately had people come back and like recognize us and our character names yes. and we're like come and you would visit all the time and you would uh, see them you would see yeah. them like come by and like take pictures with us and, you guys were like yeah, people would we literally stop favorites. and yeah. take pictures with you yeah. um because you were like goofy but you yeah. could also do your job and scare yeah. people that's the thing and that's what what we kind of like reached everybody was if you can't scare them interact with them make their make yeah. their trip through your attraction worth it yeah because it's not like a it's not like a house where you stand in line and wait to get in right like people are just walking they're through. They're walking through. So the trick is, for me at least, for us, was to entertain everybody. Right. If they're entertained by being spooked, great. If they're entertained by being, like, joked with. Made fun of or. Great, too. Yeah. Um, so 
I mean, it was it was a really good time. We had a lot of good stories. Uh, I think yeah. there's one story that you probably want me to tell. Yes, I do. Yes. Um, I was there for this. So we we fell into like a rhythm where we were we were pretty confident with ourselves and we would just like shut off like our real personalities and put on like our clown personalities yeah at one point during the season most of our clown personalities weren't that far off from our real personalities yeah. just like a little meaner and you you were hillbillies right yeah. you were hillbilly clowns yeah. well the the story um i kind of bled my character story from backwoods to yes the clown so it was like i was the same person mm-hmm. But I was dressing up as a clown to run away from the cops after. What was your name? Jedediah Engelberg. That's right. Yep. And then my brothers, Leroy Jenkins Engelberg and Billy Bob Joe Engelberg. <laughs> Billy Bob Joe. Yeah, Billy Bob Joe Engelberg. He was actually the first one we, that made the name. That mm-hmm. was back in Backwoods. And then that's how we got our names for. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So we, we had strong characters and we would just like turn it on. And it was really hard to turn it off. Once you're in there yeah. and like you're getting good scares, you just want to keep going, keep pushing. Well, there was this group of people who were just trying to get chicken at the <laughs> at the chicken stand that were, was in the attraction. And this girl definitely despised clowns, yes. like hated to look at them. She wouldn't look at them. Well, two of my friends were like going after her, mm-hmm. but like keeping their distance because they're they're smart. I mean. Smartish, and she was in line for the chicken. She was in line for chicken, and you're not supposed to scare. And you're not them supposed to scare them in line for the chicken, but it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. You'll you'll see. So they were making fun of her and stuff, and like like pretending to like, oh no, I'm scared of clowns. And they were like, and then she was like threatening, them, like I'm gonna hit one of you, I'm gonna hit one of you. And they were like play fighting with each other, like mm-hmm. making fun of her and stuff. And I was around the back, and I was like, like at the back of where she was, she wasn't looking at me, so I was like, this will be an easy one. So I walk up to her from behind, and she's like threatening. I'm like, I'm gonna hit one of you. So I just peek around. And I'm like, what about me? She turns around without like skipping a beat, clocks me in the face, just <laughs> right in the eye, and was and I'm down. Um, Fully deserved. One hundred percent my fault. Um, I was if you're within arm's reach and you get hit, that's that's on you. Yeah. Like you're a scary clown. You're sneaking up on somebody, and you're not supposed to scare you're them when they're in line for the chicken. For the chicken. <laughs> you're not. I know that. To be fair, she was out of the awning. Whatever. That's before they added the lines, because mm-hmm. you notice how now there's lines there yes. at the chicken. There's cues. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I got hit. So I, I obviously I got hit. I was startled. I fell on the ground. Um, she to say, really clocked you. Needless to say, everybody around me started like panicking. Like, yeah. Oh my god, he just got hit. He just got hit. So I'm on the ground, like holding my face. I was wearing a prosthetic, so I was actually pretty padded. So I didn't really feel much yeah. of the hit itself. Yeah. Like I felt like the the impact. Yeah. But not like a clap of like skin on skin. Yeah. Um, and there was really no bruising or anything. So. No. It was uh, a little bit, but not much. Uh, so people are freaking out. They're like, Austin got hit. Austin got hit. Mm-hmm. So they're running to get our supervisor and stuff and stuff like that. And I'm on the ground just like dying of laughter at the time because <laughs> I know it's my fault. I'm like, this is a funny thing to do. Mm-hmm. So people see me on the ground like holding my face and they just hear, I'm assuming what they think is like crying. I don't know. <laughs> but they come over and I'm just <laughs> laughing and everybody's looking at me like, do you, do you need anything? I'm like, no, just, just go. Just, it's fine. It was me. It was my fault. And I was there. You were there that time. And from as a my guest. perspective, I was I was down like towards the bottom of the hill. I was yeah. talking with other people, yeah. other actors, other clowns. Yeah, which I should not have done. That's I was fun. a very bad. Like it was it, it was a slow night. Yeah, that night. it was. But I was a bad guest. I mean, if three of us are ganging up on one guest, it's a slow night. Yeah, that's true. So I was down at the bottom of the hill, and I was talking with some people, and then I just like hear like commotion from mm-hmm. the top of the hill. And someone runs down to me because they know I'm your girlfriend. Yeah. And they're like, Austin just got hit. And I was like, what the? So I run up to the top of the hill. Mm-hmm. There's like people crowded around you, but yeah. like no one's helping you. And I'm like, what the fuck is everyone doing? And then I just see you like literally rolling on the ground laughing. And yeah. I was like, fuck it. I'm walking away. It was really funny. It was <laughs> a really funny situation because that was the first time I've been really hit. Like I've gotten like bumped and hit and like pushed before yeah. because I mean... If you work in a haunted house, you probably got bumped and hit and pushed before. I got punched twice. Yeah. And it, it's, it's unfortunately one of those things that is part of the job. People mm-hmm. are aggressive yeah. towards haunted actors. Yes, That's just what they, they are. are. Um, well, that's the first time I was like hit in the face. And I was like, you know what? This is good. This yeah. is good that this happened. I was like, I looked at you. I was like, did you really just get hit? And you were like, yes. Mm-hmm. As you're laughing, I'm like, he's yep. fine. <laughs> Yeah. So I literally walked away. I was like, I'm not helping. And him. there was, I mean, there was so many good stories that year. And there was a similar amount of good stories the year after. I think, I wonder, was that the year with the meteor? 
it was no it was the year i don't remember i don't remember we, there was this one actor we had that we just we ganged up on and like he deserved it at first but like not at the level we brought it yeah. and it was like it was really petty and stuff but um just so many inside jokes that like yeah. won't even be funny if i said them no in the podcast but it was just it was a good time we had a lot of camaraderie like it was just it was fun yeah. for all of us to be there in that area uh, there was a show yes uh skeleton crew show i'll try to see if i can put in like some stock footage or something of like what that is yeah uh, like they're her, really cool they're yeah, very talented it's, have you seen like the trampoline wall jump people yeah it's that style they show that. but um, they're dressed up yeah they're skeletons. dressed up as like skeletons it's really cool it's a cool like gym gymnastic show that we had and we would do like a pre-show for them mm -hmm. to like bring people in which was cool um and the next year they got rid of all that because i mean it makes like looking back it made sense because that was an entertainment area yeah and there was also a ride and food it was like we're kind of yes in the way of all of those things yeah um so i went back to that attraction next year the next year as a supervisor yeah which was it was a fun time i had a lot of fun um the people that worked under me were great i was in costume every night which was super beneficial for me too yeah um I mean, we were good. We we lost a lot of the the magic because we moved places and like, yeah. we lost a lot of the people. But it was still a fun time. Um, I don't know. There's not that many stories from that year. I remember the one story I have is like we had this girl who just couldn't get scaring people, mm -hmm. and I was like, I looked at her. Well, I, we were in a group, and I was like, we were talking about like scaring people before yeah. we opened. And I was like, listen, you guys are clowns. Like, you can do anything. Like, stand around and meow at the guests and they'll scream. Yeah. Needless to say, for the next <laughs> night, all we heard was meowing from this girl's area. And I was like, don't take me literally. Like, it was a joke. It was, it was an exaggeration. It was an example. Yeah. Don't actually meow at the people. Oh, that's funny. Scary. But, I don't know. It's so hard to, like, like, I could do it a whole episode on just yeah. us as clowns. Because yeah. it was just such a good year good mm -hmm. two years really second year not as fun but we made the most of it like mm -hmm. one kid jordan who stole a pumpkin and ran around with it <laughs> yeah. and there's just there's stories like that i mean we were just we would mess around and like the first year especially nobody really cared yeah because we were people what are they gonna do yeah. like we can't control these four five however many of us there were yeah they knew that and it was like just fine like guests like them they enjoy we didn't get a trash in the year, but it's fine. I'm not bitter about mm. it at mm -hmm. all. Go ahead. Keep going. No, no, no. Let it all out. No, we're good. I'm good. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. not even there anymore. I think it is, but they changed it. And it's like regular clowns and it sucks. Yeah. It's fine. I'm gone, so. Okay. No, I'm not bitter. Yeah. yeah. I uh, I supervised a couple of times mm -hmm. at a like, couple of random attractions. Like if they needed someone to fill in. Yeah. I would do that, and I had fun because you worked in the morning, and like, yeah, if I was working hot anyway, I was mostly there. Yeah, I hung out and just like just when I get paid, when I get paid to hang out. Like. Yeah, um, and I had fun with that. Like, yeah. I think I I would be better at supervising yeah. as like the non actor yeah. at the attractions than being the actor. And then there was one year um, that me and my friend Sarah we dressed up as clowns and we went mm -hmm. to that attraction that I you were in, that. yeah, and we just messed around mm -hmm. like. I didn't scare anybody. I was, was I there that night? No. Wasn't I? No, you... Because that was the year that, that I was... That was the year... Bouncing between houses. Yeah. And we just... We just was messed the, around. Yeah, that was the next year. Because I was... Um, I was assigned like a roaming position where I would just yeah. cover whoever needed help that night. Yeah. Whether it be in a track... In house... Or in costume or not. One time when I was doing this, I was at a a um attraction mm -hmm. it's a wax museum themed attraction mm -hmm. i was doing the the checks so you were walking around the house oh my god daily yeah, checks. I this. um and it was it was all fine like the lights are on you do one walk with the lights on one walk with the house lights on so you turn mm -hmm. the lights off and turn on all like the prop lights so you know like everything's working the way it yeah. should well i was doing the regular walk with the lights still on and i got to this room that has mannequins in it and like some of the mannequins are like animatronic mm -hmm. and we like move around well, I was checking the animatronics, like making sure everything is, there's no like wire sticking out and um, they're, they're turning on and everything. Mm -hmm. And there's this one that like, I've seen move. I've been through this attraction so many times. I've seen how it moves. Mm -hmm. Like it kind of moves forward, its arms move and it moves back. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize its head was also on a swivel. Mm -hmm. I've never seen the head swivel. 
Well, I'm sitting there checking it and I look at it and then the head fucking turns and looks at me and I'm out. I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm done. I can't do this. I'm like, there's no way. Goodbye. And I, every time I go through it, you know this. Yes. We go through it every year because it's still there mm-hmm. and I'm just sitting there watching it. Like <laughs> waiting. Like, look, it's going to do it. And it fucking doesn't. Yeah. It's like, is it, was it me? Is I, it, does it know? It was you. It was terrifying. Mm-hmm. Terrifying. I think that same year I worked at the, the morning stuff with you mm-hmm. just as an attendant i was like i was like i don't want responsibility can yeah. i just like like give people tickets or something like, yeah so i did and there's a picture i'll put it up here um of me covering oh, yes. cinderella <laughs> her break <laughs> it's so. the funniest thing because like here's this really like you you would walk through all these like houses the yeah. kids will walk through all these there's houses like Hansel and Gretel. That, yeah are the, decorated and yeah. themed Hansel and Gretel. Oh, um, you lived in the shoe. Exactly. Like that kind of stuff. They knock on the door. The character is dressed up as the person in the house. Yeah. Gives them candy. Well, he was like the fifth house in. Mm. There's like eight of them, I think. Eight yeah. or ten. Yeah. And <laughs> he had to cover some, one of the kids needed to go to lunch. Mm-hmm. And we didn't have any other characters yeah. that could fill in for that spot. Mm-hmm. So Austin had to go in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, there's this, there's this, large man in cinderella's house so he put like a scarf around my head to he make, me look like a, make me look like i guess more presentable or, i don't, like, know. I don't know. it was just funny because he's yeah I'll, I'll, I'll have the picture up now so you can see what, what we're talking about but oh it was really funny it was funny it was a good time you weren't in there very long like mm-hmm. it just was like a 10 or 15 minute coverage until someone else came back from yeah. lunch but but it was funny the time was there that whole season, I think like that was the most fun I had yeah. in the morning because like <laughs> I didn't have any responsibility, but people would still be like, Austin, help. Yeah. And you were in charge of the foam pit. And yeah, I, all I did was like make sure foam, the foam was full yeah. and turned on. Yeah. And like that was it. And then I would like roam around and we had like um, Papa. Papa? Is that what we called him? Papa. Yeah. yeah. The tractor. And then we, it was like really fun. Like um it was chaotic like costume contest yeah it was yeah. it was similar to like when i worked there yeah but there was more structure in theory it was like six or eight of us that all yeah. worked at the water park that were all mostly supervisors together yeah and we just kind of <laughs> dicked around yeah, it doesn't it didn't require much work to no get no, it no. Running. like the setup was difficult yeah to get everything I like i mean not for us like yeah. to get it put together yeah but once but once everything was there and everybody yeah. was there it was mostly like the kids just have to say hi to people yeah and and you have to make sure you make your show dimes like when there's a costume contest make sure you're on stage when right there's a dance thing make sure you're on the right. stage make sure your person's playing music yep make sure the music's appropriate <laughs> kids bop <laughs> they're listening to kids bop yeah pumpkin painting make sure the pumpkins are filled make sure they don't do that anymore i know you just is, get a pumpkin which is good which is amazing because that was a pain in the ass. well didn't they have like stickers and stuff that one year yeah when, when we visited yeah yeah there's i feel like this is a long episode but it's because mostly you have so much yeah i mean i did it for almost 10 years like we took the i think the last two years we worked there yeah we didn't we didn't do it because we were like we're gonna focus on like college yeah we were in college and it was a lot to drive home an hour and a half one way yeah so three hours every weekend I mean, they paid us for it, but it was still like yeah, it's still want, kind of draining to like after class on Friday drive home, then like, go back on Sunday yeah. and have to go to school the next day. Yeah, Sunday night. Not like yeah, but, I think. Um, I mean, there's plenty of more stories too. There definitely is. Like, we we didn't plan this episode out. Like we didn't like write down what we wanted to, what stories we wanted to tell. Yeah, but on purpose because I think I would I would want to end this episode by like giving some advice mm, yes. for if you. If you one, want to work it. Uh, you want to work on a haunted yes. attraction, or and you two, going going to a haunted attraction. Yeah. And for me, I would say because I didn't allow myself to have fun. Yeah. Just allow yourself to to yeah have fun. Have like, fun. Do it. Be in character. Enjoy the enjoy the scares. Even the, even if you don't get the yeah, scare, and that's that's my because people make fun of you and they're like, "You didn't scare me." Yeah. Okay, I don't give a shit. And then you make fun of them back. That's my yeah. advice: is don't if you do work as a scare actor, don't get, um, don't let it get to you if you don't get the scares. Yeah, don't, don't get, get discouraged. Of just by like, not everybody's scared of everything, and yeah. just because you can't scare seventeen-year-old boys that are right. traveling in a group together doesn't mean you're not a good actor or a scare actor. And people are assholes, and 
It takes time to like yeah. get in the groove of things. And it's not, it's also, you have to realize it's not for everybody. Right. And maybe scaring isn't you. Maybe you're a good distraction or maybe yeah. you're good at like using props or something and just, just figure out what, what's going to make you have the most fun mm -hmm. when you do it. Because I worked most of my, half of my positions. I didn't have fun at because mm -hmm. I was like, this isn't for me, you know? And if you have made it this far and you aren't, you've never worked in a hot attraction before. I really recommend it. Even yeah, if you're doing nothing else on weekends and fall. Obviously not like, this year, yeah. but. Well, some of them are. There's a lot of them. Also. Yeah, but I mean, it's getting close to the end now. Yeah, I guess. Um, but even though, like, I didn't have the best time, yeah. it's still an experience yeah. that I think you you definitely make connections. Like, you do. I, I didn't know anybody, but the two or three people that I really connected with, I'm still friends with on Facebook. Like, w like I still see what they do, yeah. and it you and you might not have that experience either like you could yeah. have a really good house and build yeah. that camaraderie and like mm -hmm. have a really fun time it is like it is fun and it's not and don't let age discourage you either like no. there's going to be a lot of kids and like young adults that work at these haunted houses but there's also a lot of older but i've people. seen a lot i've had a lot of older people work under me who've had just as much if not more fun yeah than some of the kids yeah people... some of the kids especially at like amusement parks like if you work in an amusement park especially the amusement park we worked at yeah it's a lot of kids. A lot of those kids, like, didn't really have a choice yeah. either. It's like, hey, if you want to keep working, this is your yeah, option. You have and to they do were this. like, so some of them aren't excited, but make the most of it, regardless of your, uh, where you're working, who you're working with, your age. Yeah. You know, it's, it is, if you, you get out of it what you put in. Yeah. If you have fun with it, you're going to have fun. Yeah. I agree. Um, and, and if you're going to a haunted house. Yeah. Number one. Don't touch things. Yeah. Don't touch people. Don't touch props. Like, just don't touch anything. Yes. You would be amazed to find out how expensive some of these props are. Yes. Oh, it's just a piece of foam. It's a very expensive piece of foam. Yeah. Like, stop touching it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, a lot of people put a lot of work into these things. Yes. And they may not look as impressive, like in the light, but they're designed specifically to, yeah. like, bring a mood. And if you walk through a house and there's like chunks missing of props and, yeah. like, things are hanging off walls like you're gonna be like this kind of sucks it's like yeah it's kind of your fault yeah it's usually because people mess with them mm -hmm. and don't touch people either like seriously understand the do not touch the people. actors are just other people and if you're going to a haunted house and you have to punch somebody because you got scared yeah don't go to a fucking haunted house exactly like it's not they're they're usually kids yeah who are told jump out and say boo right and if your first reaction is to like fucking wail them yeah rethink your choices bud Number two, um, don't be that person. You know who you are. Don't be the person where if someone is scaring you or mm. trying to scare you, don't be the person that's like, you didn't scare me. It is, it's really discouraging. Yeah, and the same type of people who like go through a house and like, just like, like make noise and like, just like be annoying. The oh, I see through. you there. Oh, yeah. I see you there. It's not, that's discouraging to the actors. And it's not going to make you have any more fun. Right. Like, you're just going to leave at the Let end Let yourself of the night. be immersed. You're going to leave by the end of the night and be like, that was a waste of money. That was fucking stupid. So yeah. Because you made it stupid. Right. Like, if you're not going to get scared, here's, here's my advice. If you know you're not going to get scared in a haunted house, mm -hmm. go with somebody who is going to get scared. Mm -hmm. You will have more fun. It is fun. Than anybody else. Yep. Just be quiet, hold their arm, mm -hmm. and let them get scared. Mm -hmm. And while they're covering their eyes and shit, point at them to the actors. Yeah. They'll appreciate that too. Yeah. You don't go to other places and like criticize their job and be like, you yeah. didn't do that right. Yeah. Don't do it to them. Yeah. It's, it sucks. And you never know what situations. Maybe you caught them in the middle of like resetting. Or they, it's their first season. They don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Or they're just having a bad night. Regardless, yeah. like don't be that person. Yeah. Just don't. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, just have, those are my big takeaways yeah, as as both an actor and a guest just have fun like, yeah that's what they're designed for and if you're not going to have if you know you're not going to have fun participating don't do it why pay the money then? there's other things to do yeah like you don't have to work there you don't have to go there as a guest like if you go to an amusement park that has haunted stuff like cool like yeah go through it if you want to but there's fucking rides too yeah and some of the other ones are kind of expensive for what they are so like don't don't waste your money going on a haunted <laughs> hayride if you're going to be like pointing out every fucking thing that's wrong with it. and you ruin it for other people too yes. when you do that the people that want to have a good time that want yeah. to be immersed you ruin it for them even people in your friend group you might not realize that like they just want to like enjoy yeah their time here like they came out to do this yeah yeah 
yeah, that's that's really it. Um, yeah. This is sorry. This is a longer. I didn't necessarily anticipate for it to be this long. Yeah, I mean it's but, a fun. That's a that's a, that's a good lesson. I think everybody. Should. Yeah, we'll have a have a good time. Yeah, I mean this is this whole thing was set up like this is how I would talk yeah. to people about, about my experience. Yeah. Um. So it's real. And you guys, if you guys have, if anybody has questions about like our experience at these attractions or in general, mm-hmm. because we've also been to a lot of them in the area. Yeah. Um. Leave them below because we'll be happy to answer anything you have. Mm-hmm. Or like if you're like, hey, I really want to try that, but I don't know where to like, we'll put you in touch with people who can yeah. get you into. We definitely have people stuff. we can talk. Yeah. Obviously, like it's towards the end of the season yeah, for this but year, like, but for next year, they're I mean, always they looking. start. I mean, they've already started prepping for next year before this year started. Yeah. So every haunted house, not just the one we worked at. No, no, no. Yeah. Because you have to, I mean, the the big um, convention for haunted stuff is happening. Like it happens before summer, I think. So yeah. Yeah. You'll, yeah. I mean, you'll, if you start seeing ad postings, you can apply to those there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, just let us know if you have any questions about it mm-hmm. and we'll, we'll be happy to answer them. Um, we'll keep you updated mm-hmm. about our schedule. We'll still post. I don't know if we're going to post two. We'll, we'll probably. We'll have, we'll have to see yeah. what, what next week looks like. Yeah. Um, just timing wise, depending on what other content we're putting out. But yeah, we'll. We'll make a post on our Facebook and Twitter yeah. and Instagram and stuff, and we'll we'll let you guys know what the rest of the year schedule looks like. Yeah, because um, it may be a little wonky towards the holidays, depending on what our schedule looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Um, but our plan is to adjust the frequency of types of content. So, yeah. um, you know, more of this, less of that. But we still haven't really figured out what all of that means for us yet. Yeah, it depends on what kind of you guys latch on to so if you guys watch and you enjoy the podcast like tell your friends to listen yeah. and like and subscribe because we really want to know what people like yeah because it's not and um, we're not upset about it or anything yeah. but we don't get a lot of views and we don't get comments on our videos yeah, so we don't really like, know what people are yeah. enjoying if it could it could be like maybe we're just putting out a lot like yeah. is is weekly a lot yeah like for a new podcast are like, the topics not interesting maybe. to you yeah or? so uh, definitely if you made it this far like leave comments uh, go back to our i'll try to put our like google drive thing back up and yeah. like, leave like ideas and let us know what you guys want to see and yeah. listen to because that's what we want we just want to yeah definitely like, follow us on twitch mm-hmm. we both stream there now i started streaming yeah and that's that's pretty regularly that's a couple times a week yeah both so of us the more people that watch us there like the more the more fun you guys will have watching us because we'll be able to interact in real time there too yeah that's a it's a fun platform to interact on yeah um but other than that we will definitely see you guys next week yes like this video subscribe to the channel yeah follow us on our social media all of them will be linked below and uh we'll see you guys soon yeah see you bye